Hi, my name is Lauren Andrews, and I'm the founder of Aromed Aromatherapy of Vermont. And today I'm going to teach you how to make your own antifungal foot remedy. Uh, fungal infections like athlete's foot are very, very common and actually very easy to, uh, to address with essential oils. We have some very, very powerful antifungal essential oils in our arsenal, and we're gonna talk about two different oils today that when they are working together synergistically um, can tackle most fungal infections. So we're going to start with a one ounce pet plastic um, jar, and it has one of the, sna the snap top on it. So when you, oh, this is a tough one. There we go, that's the sound you wanna hear. Um, so when you want to use it, you just turn it around, just put a little in your hands and apply it where it needs to go. Uh, so we're going to fill it with organic um, aloe vera today. Aloe vera is uh, like a water-based carrier for the essential oils, also very skin nurturing and uh, it helps with rapid absorption of the essential oil constituents into the skin where you want it to go. So I'm just pouring this off into here. It's about an ounce, just to leave a little bit of room at the top um, for the essential oils. There we go, that's perfect. And so the two essential oils that I chose today are tea tree and an oil that a lot of people have never heard of. It's called Palmarosa. It's a fabulous skin oil. It's good for aging skin and it's also good for any sort of inflammatory skin issues like eczema and it's very, very good with fungal infections. And so we'll start with the Palmarosa. It's a grass oil, distilled grass. It comes from um, an organic grower and distiller in India. And we're going to put 10 drops of the Palmarosa in. Here we go, there. Let's see, one, two. And it smells beautiful, it smells like a rose, but it's definitely earthier, a little more grounded, and I believe that was 10. Mm. And some people will use Palmarosa and perfumery as a substitute for rose because it's environmentally much more sustainable. The grass grows prolifically throughout India and it's very inexpensive, whereas when you're using rose, very expensive. Uh, next is tea tree, and this is an organic oil from Australia. Uh, very well-known essential oil, I'm sure you've heard of it, and strong antifungal. And we want 14 drops. Let's see. I'm almost there, I'm 12, 13, 14. There. Oh, got a 15th in there. That's okay. And then all you do is Make sure you close the cap and shake it. You wanna shake it before you use it each time because sometimes the essential oils can separate from the aloe. And I would also suggest keeping aloe in the refrigerator between uses if you can. Uh, aloe can be a little finicky and it really lasts much longer when it's refrigerated. So just a little tip for you there. And, and that's it and it's, you see how simple it is and really quite effective. And so I thank you very much for joining me today. If you're interested in learning more essential oil remedies, we have this beautiful recipe gallery on our Aromed Aromatherapy website. You can check that out. I would certainly um, encourage you to subscribe to the Aromed YouTube channel. I'll be putting on new, new films once a week for a long period of time. There'll, there'll be a lot there for you. And you can like us on Facebook. Thanks a lot.